Welcome back everybody, how are you doing? Well, today I wanted to do another review, uh, kind of a tool review on uh, uh, on a storage system. And as you guys have seen in my previous videos, I'm somewhat of a brand uh, fanboy, whether it is uh, SOE for my tactical nylon or my lifestyle, whether it's Klein hand tools, S-Wing hammers, you can't get any better than S-Wing, or even in your tape measure, your Stanley Fat Max. You guys know my love and affinity for Makita tools, my resurgence to Makita, and if you guys have watched, and I've seen the, the load count, you guys know how much I absolutely positively love that rigid tool system. The problem I have with a rigid, though, is that, well, its ability to store other bits and pieces is kind of lackluster. Uh, it's kind of, it's not there yet. Now, they do have these bins that are wonderful. I use them all the time, and it's great. I love them. I love the latches on it. And um, I like that it's very sturdy uh, and it has the seal around the outside. The problem is with this is these are all in cups. And I like it because I can pull the cup out, I can pull the fastener. And that's primarily what I use these for are my everyday fasteners. So whatever I'm going to take out on the job or use on the project or anything like that, I'm going to grab one of these bins because it has all my... T25 screws and you guys know my affinity for T25 screws and these little bits that are expensive five pack of these is 40 bucks and these are made by Vera okay or Vera however you pronounce it and these are so much better okay I like that it's stamped with T25. They hold the bit very well. This is run through. Uh, I can tell you this has run through uh, what was in the box. 250 50 fasteners. And that's what the bit looks like after 250 fasteners. I, I know it's driven more than 250, but I know I took out a box that had a 250 count. Um, so these are very well. So. I wanted to bring to you today um, DeWalt T-Stack system. It's not a very well-known system that's out there. A lot of people will see the um, uh, Tough system that's out there. And um, I just wanted to bring today the older system that's there that's, uh, that you're going to see in Lowe's under the Craftsman brand called T-Stack. So let's just... Uh, bring you over to T-Stack and see what that can hold for you. All right, good. So this is my little collection of T-Stack that I have so far. Okay, let's take you down here. So we have these bins. We have two of the same bins. Then we have this kind of flat box. And then we also have this big box. T-Stack connects together. Via these little connectors. Okay, they are these are hard plastic with a plastic hinge itself. Okay, can you guys see that or not? So the way that these work are just like any other system that's out there. Um, you bring up the hinge, you bring up the other hinge, you center it, and you lock it in. And now it's locked together. Um, my issue uh, with the locking system itself is this. When this is locked down, okay, when this is pushed down, and it's just a minor thing, um, and it has to be this way because it won't lock in any other way, you have to pick this box back up, open it back up, and then lock it back down. Not a big deal, but it's kind of like a little issue. Okay. Um, the other part of this system that I don't like, and it's on other brands as well, 
is I hate these flat top boxes that are, the, the handle should be right here. And I understand why the handle is not here because you have this upper lid, okay? And you have this inner compartment, okay? This just happens to be my plumbing one. Um, I have a couple of shortcomings with this, uh, with this module. Um, the handle is super sturdy. The plastics are super sturdy. I don't like the ergonomics of this big handle. I know why it's there because they have this here, okay, to open this up. Um, this lid has never failed me to either close properly or to uh, stay closed. It has never opened up. The issue that I have is this. Okay, you get there to open this up. Okay, when you go to pick this up, this lid, okay, see how these have the lids to unlock it, okay, to open this up, you can either grab the side, grab this, or what I have a bad habit of doing is picking it up by this. In my head, okay, I have this thought is, I'm going to pick this up one day, it's not going to be latched, and it's going to go like that, okay. It's just a weird thing in my head. Um, the latches on this system compared to the rigid, I don't like. Now, I'll tell you why. When I go to unlatch this, okay, the latches stay there. Okay, I have to do that. If we look at the rigid, now if we look at the rigid clasps, they have on the bail, it is a heavier gauge wire, okay? It has a heavier, heavier paddle style, but it also has this little orange doodad in here. They stick their name on it, but what it does is every time I go to open this, it opens the latch without fail every single time. So when I go to open it, it is open. Okay, this you have to really flip it. Now, uh, you know, again, this is my second second tier piece. I don't use it all the time. But this latching system, I like much better. Okay, now, where this comes into its own, I think better than any other thing. And I've tried, you Milwaukee guys, I've tried the... Uh, the Milwaukee system and uh, I ran it for three weeks and I absolutely positively hated it it was too big it's too heavy and you can load it up with too many tools okay I like the ability that the rigid um, the space and the weight of it is just perfect where I can chuck it in quickly and easily the uh, Milwaukee while it is super skookum, it is, it, it's just too big, you can put too many tools in it, and it's too uh, heavy. But where this system comes into its play is I use the rigid for tools, everyday tools, okay, corded, cordless, whatever it is. I use this system for the specialty stuff, okay, if I'm doing plumbing work, I like, I love I love, 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 love the ability to print your own label on the front of here. So when I tell somebody to go out, give me the plumbing box, they're going to hand me the plumbing box. Um, where this system comes into its own, I think better than any other system that's out there, is its ability to organize. Organized tools, I don't think it does very well. but. I think that this system does an extraordinarily awesome job at organizing your stuff that you need. This is just my plumbing box. 
you know, I, I can go in here, do whatever I need to do, okay? Get whatever shark bites I need, or gas fittings, or shut off valves, or whatever, on here, okay? Again, I don't like the way that this latch latches. I'm going to try to, see? I don't like that. Okay? Then on the inside, I have... You know, you have your specialty stuff. You know, your cutters, uh, all of your uh, Teflon tapes, your glues, your dopes, all of that stuff. You know, all of those tools that I'm not going to use on a daily basis are in here. Primers, glues, stuff like that. Um, I do have to say this was in my uh, vehicle for probably a month. And you guys know as well as anybody, when you put these glues in there, it permeates the whole area. I never smelled glue in my vehicle. This does not have any gasket material. It's not weatherproof or anything like that. But it does pretty damn well seal up without a gasket. Um, the hinges are okay. It's a it's a full length piano hinge plastic top and bottom with a metal um, a bar inside of it I, 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 if you push it hard enough this back wall moves and if it didn't I think it would break so uh, uh, the plastic overall plastic of it is very good again I only have a couple months on this and this is not an everyday thing like I take out with my rigid system but when I need it and when I need to pull stuff out of here um, it, it it it's it's a very good it's a very good system for organization like that again this module I have a lot of issues with the other problem that I have with this module because because it has this top handle okay because it has this top handle, the T-Stack lock, they can't put a T-Stack lock on here. This has to be always the top box. Okay, This always has to be the top box. Now, its overall fit and finish is nice. I like it. The hinges when you grab the handle, and we'll get into the lower box with the handle, um, doesn't hit like my rigid does and that's a problem that's a big drawback with the rigid that I have um, the ability for this to lock in okay so when you put this box on the problem that I have is that it is okay it you have to hunt for it for a little bit and again the reason why I have to hunt for it it's because I don't use it, I don't use this stack every day. Probably if I used it every day like my rigid, and I had a problem with that as well, and I've gotten used to it. Um, but for this box to be on top, always has to be on top. Um, and again, I don't like this top handle. So we've droned on enough about this, but its organizational skills is awesome. Okay, these are the two... Um, uh, organizers that you have here that I think um, really, 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 really uh, are MVPs of the show. So let's get into it a little, a little tighter itself. These have the connection points, okay, on both sides, just like that. Okay. And they lock in nice and sturdy, and away you go. Okay, it has the handle on the side where it should be. Uh, I can stick it anywhere in the stack that I like to do. Again, you have the ability to put your own labels on here. This is kind of a box in transition that I haven't put a uh, label on as of yet. But this is the one that I use for kind of electric work and CATV. This is um, 
kind of a box in transition itself. It drives me nuts. Okay, you fold these over. I like the connection points better with the rigid. Let me take. Let's 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 have you look at the connection points of the rigid itself, and you'll see why I like them way better um, than any other system that I've tried so far. Okay, so this is the rigid system that I absolutely love. Uh, I've got a lot of time on these boxes. Uh, I've beat them up. Again, they just latch open every time. They open every time. Okay, this just happens to be the one for my EDC fasteners. I only run T25s. Okay. Uh, the other thing that's good for these is you can see on here it gives you a little place for a padlock. This is stupid, okay? If you guys put this in your mold, stop it. Whatever it costs to do this in the original mold, probably, you know, 100 bucks to put that in to put a little lock on here, people are just going to cut that off. It's stupid. Okay, so where this works extraordinarily well than any other system that's out there are these bales, okay? You see the, you see the bales? Okay, they're heavy, sturdy bales, and there's a little rubber handle that's on there. Okay, these are good that you can pick up half of your stack. Okay, if you have two or three of these together and you just want to pick it up by this bale, you can absolutely positively do that. If you want to latch these down to your truck or into your van or something like that, these are sturdy enough in order to do that. Okay. Even with these things in their stowed position, okay, you just take this, you roll it up, and you lock it in, okay? I don't have to worry about the T-stack where I have to, okay? Picks up. I don't have to worry about picking that box up again and worrying it again. That's where I think this rigid does very well, but the rigid in organization I could probably organize this like that but they don't have that first box that I showed you all right so enough about this rigid um, let's go back to the um, t-stack all right so let's go back into this that makes it extraordinarily work again you can also on these just like the rigid put a little padlock through here and somebody with just freaking they can just smash it off who cares and do whatever you want okay the plastic lids are okay again they're not worked in heavy duty so they're still clear they will fog up um, they will not fog up as much as they'll scratch up so let's lower this down just a tweak okay so what does black and decker do better than anybody else it gives you the ability to store all kinds of stuff in here. These are hard molded in, okay? They have all of these, these holes in the front that you can stick whatever you want to in here, okay? You can grab the bins out. Now, if I grab the bins out, what makes this thing stellar, okay, is this has a second this has a second floor to it you can stick more copper in now obviously with plastics nowadays you don't do too much in copper work but if you need to you can now they also in here if you'll notice that this is laid out the way it needs to be okay you just can't put these anywhere in here they have to fit in a specific spot Okay. Once they fit in, there is no ingress. Okay. So once this is in and locked, I have never had a fastener jump from one bin to the next. This organization is better than anything that's out there in this bin. And they make other bins with drawers and stuff like that. I got to get some of those, but. The ability to hold a lot of stuff in here is simply pretty amazing. That's the overflow. This is the electrical 
cable TV and phone and all that kind of stuff. You know, you got all different kinds of stuff in here. I run some screws in there for that. And again, you know, if if I need connectors, I got connectors. If I need, you know, splitters, I got those. Uh, screws, hold downs, T25s, RJ45s, RJ11s. Okay, this bin works extraordinarily well. And this is why I run this in conjunction with my rigid. All right, so here we have the base unit of all of these. This is what starts the system itself. This is the rolling big, big bucket, okay? This is what has the tires on it, is the biggest stuff. This is what you put your biggest, heavier tools in there, your saw, your, uh, uh, your sawzalls, your circular saws, your corded tools, whatever. Um, I run corded tools in my uh, rigid, and this one I put my corded tools in, and the tools that I don't use all that often. Um, so, a couple of things that I think um, DeWalt hit this out of the park with. One of them is the overall size of this, um, the overall volume of this. I uh, love it because it's not, it's not stupid crazy heavy. Um, the issue that I do have with it again is I like the handles that are there that are built into the molded plastic. They're just not big enough. If you have any type of gloves on, you, you slide right off. It's not deep enough. Um, I, again, I like those bales that are on the rigid system, but this works. I, again, I'm not going into this box every day like I do my rigid. Um, what I also think that they did way better, let me take this lovely sticker off of there, than anybody else, okay? Um, the handle, that's there. I'm not a real big fan of the single, okay, of the single handle, but it works well, okay? Put it in there. Um, you push the little button and it drops every single time no problems, no worries. Um, it locks in, okay? The rigid does not. The rigid, if you push it hard enough, if you pull that handle up enough, it will. Uh, the other issue that I have with the rigid is that it's a two-pull system. I think it's a, it's a little more robust than this piece of aluminum. Um, the handle on it is very comfy, okay? So this handle, take a profile and look at that handle. Okay, can you guys see that it's this S shape? It's very comfortable. Uh, it's hard plastic, you know, but it works very well. Now, where this works better than anything else, and including the rigid, the big drawback I hate, hate, hate with that rigid is when you go into this toolbox, Okay, we're going to go into this, okay, when I go, watch the handle, it tilts back. Why in the hell did Rigid not do this? When you go into the Rigid, you have to take the lid off or you cannot open that box. I absolutely adore this design. If I remember correctly, if I'm honest, I think the Milwaukee does it as well. The rigid, you have to unclip it and then take the handle, I mean, you have to take the lid off and set that off to the side. I can't stand that. It drives me crazy. I hate it. I can't stand it. That is the worst design that I have ever run into. Okay? So again, you open this up. And you shut it. That, why? Why couldn't they have done that? Why? But so I digress. Um, again, none of these boxes are waterproof. They don't have a water rating or whatever it is to them. I don't care. Okay. The the lid goes over. I'm not submersing these. I, I'm just not. I'm closing the box. 
And if the rain is on it, the, the rain's not going to get inside. It, it's not. It's just not. Um, again, the tea stacks are in the middle so that when we open these up, okay, to accept a new box, you have to open these up. Take your muscle, fit it on there, and clip it in. Okay, again, I'll show again. This is a stackable module, but if those are over, you have to pick this up where the ridges don't have to do that. Okay, and that's that's my big qualm with this. All right, so uh, you'll notice on here, this also comes with one of those stupid little padlock locky things. This, just put your tools away, okay? Don't leave them on the site. If you're going to leave them on the site, put them in a job box. Don't trust this with anything. Um, and even a job box, guys, will get into. Um, nice cushy handle. The box, again, the box is the right size for one person to carry this as opposed to the Milwaukee that is so big and cumbersome, you can't pick it up. You know, getting it in and out of the truck is a pain in the butt. The um, wheels, okay, let's let you down a little bit. Um, the wheels on this are not bad. The wheels on here, uh, which I thought on my original rigid, uh, the plastic wheels were gonna be a problem, but no, these have very little wear on them. Uh, but they're they're nice. They're adequate. They're sturdy. Um, they are a skeletonized wheel. Okay. So you'll notice that these wheels are skeletonized. Okay. So it's just they're just they're not solid. Okay. And none of them are. I don't think any of them are. Uh, the axle goes from one side to the next. It's captured by that. Uh, again, the handle's very nice. Um, it's the right size dimensions. Uh, it will hold the right amount of tools in here itself. Uh, the stuff that I don't use every day. And the handle's very nice. So, what's the overall thought? I think it's a great organizational system. Uh, as an everyday tool carrier, without, you know, they have other bins and all that kind of stuff for, for tools, but as an overall storage system for the stuff that you need, uh, the, your screws, your nuts, your all that kind of stuff, I think it's awesome. The connection point to it, I think, is awful. Um, the handle design when you take that box off uh, when you when you you know open up that lower one I think is great um, so what I buy it yeah I'm gonna buy some more parts to this so that I can uh, I'm, I'm getting out of space uh, for some uh, I want to put in uh, dedicated uh, high volt versus um, uh, low voltage uh, stuff like that uh, CATV connectors and phone connectors and uh, cable connectors and, and, and special things like that. But I think this system works extraordinarily well. Uh, do I think it's perfect? No. Do I think it's better than um, a lot of the systems that are out there? Yeah. I think it's the right size, it's the right weight, it's the right durability, and it's the right price. Now the problem I have with T-Stack, because it's not well known, because it's not well pushed through Home Depot, it's hard to find these modules. You have to, the place to get them is, is really Amazon. You have to spend money to make money, yes. But if I can find something at a really, really good value, I'm not talking about cheap, I'm talking about inexpensive. Inexpensive and cheap are two separate things. If you go to Harbor Freight and you buy their stuff, that stuff is cheap, it's not gonna hold up. You buy one of these name brand ones, that's inexpensive, like the Rigid, and like this T-Stack, it's inexpensive and it has very good durability and it has very good um, ability to last. And that's what I want. I want to be able to store it, keep it as, as uh, safe and as uh, protected as I can for about as less money that will hold up. And that's what this does. That's what the Rigid does. This is a pretty decent system. 
So go check it out. It is DeWalt's Tea Stack that you'll probably have to get on uh, Amazon to buy it. Home Depot's not going to carry it. Maybe it might. Uh, and go check out the rigid system. That is a that's a that's that's that little quiet thing that's in the back of the room that's really kind of you know go check it out. But um, yeah, so that's T stack for you. You can find it in Lowe's under the Craftsman brand brand under the Craftsman brand in uh, Lowe's. Uh, it's still T stack. It's the same thing. It is red and black, and uh, you can find that very easily through them. I'll, I'll continue to buy the DeWalt. It's the same product, whether it has Craftsman on it or DeWalt. It's the exact same product, just different color. Now, do I want to mix and match the colors? No, that will drive me crazy. But uh, it's the same thing, so if you start out Craftsman tea stack at Lowe's stick with it because it's the same thing it's the same price it came it comes off the same machine they just put a different die in the machine itself instead of yellow bins it's red bins it's the same stuff so thanks for joining me if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh, if you like this give me a thumbs up if not give me a thumbs down I don't care leave a comment below Go check out DeWalt uh, Tea Stack, or you can go to Craftsman through Lowe's and find their Tea Stack there. See what you think about it. I like it for the uh, essentials of my connectors and all that other stuff. So, thanks again. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully, I'll see you on the site. Bye bye.